Upgrades. Hey, it's Jorge from Team JVS giving you a quick series review of the new Netflix show called Sprint, The World's Fastest Human. This is just a small six episode series, realistically following the athletes around the world that are going to be, at the end of the day, they're all going to be super famous for the Olympics that are happening here in a couple of weeks. Um, this basically features the fastest sprinters. Uh, so you're talking about 100 to 200 meters. Um, and it kind of follows them and it, it dives into them. You get a lot of one on one interviews, which Netflix has right now kind of hit that super stride of getting all of these athletes to kind of go with this. I know they recently did an NFL one for wide receivers. They've done quarterbacks. Um, you know, the F1 uh, one has been super successful as well. But I really love when they're how they're targeting just certain certain sports, certain athletes, and just how open you know they they are. Um, throughout all this episode, you kind of realistically for me the main stars were Noah Lyles and Shakari uh, Richardson, which are the two sprinters for the U.S. Um, just very very neat. Something that I I kind of loved about the way that they they shot all this you kind of get interviews from past elite stars. And what I mean by that is you have Hussein Bolt coming in and talking a lot. Michael Johnson, who also came in talking a lot. And it's almost like you kind of see the athletes and you see like their persona, their how they are and, and how they act. And then you almost kind of get, before each event or, or major thing, you almost get a cut scene into one of these former stars who have been there done that just kind of explaining how large of a of an event this truly is or how much practice or or how much you know like these events mean to these athletes realistically being a, a huge track and field junkie i thought it was just this year coming up on uh the olympics there are so many storylines with the sprinters um, and especially with like the 100 and 200. That's just so fascinating. And for them to be able to capture this in a six episode series is phenomenal. Um, you know, either it be between the women, like the US versus Jamaica style of rivalry that keeps coming back. And then even within the Jamaican squad, like having your top t three sprinters and Having some of them leave, you know, like the camp that they've been at for years to join other camps or, or to join other, you know, coaches and just the drama that goes behind that. Um, likewise, you know, with uh, Noah Lyles, you kind of see this this man who is putting all this pressure, you know, to to become not only the fastest in the 200, but but doing the 100, which is not his sport, but yet still excelling in it. And you get the storylines of, you know, there's the fastest British man, you know, is racing him. But then you also have uh, last, um, I was about to say World Cup, but last Olympics uh, winner, which was the Italian. And it's it's just neat kind of seeing how all these figures go. And, and it's almost you're looking at these men and women who are at the absolute peak of fitness in their sport like when you talk about understanding every single part of your body where you know a uh, 100 meter race is under 10 seconds and for them to be able to shave off milliseconds you know it's like oh i need to lift my right foot just an inch more off the get out you know and just the whole psyche behind it very fascinating um and then it's just it's really neat how they've they've broken up all the episodes in here as well because you get you know these six episodes that just very slowly show you everything that's happening um and realistically like who for better lack of terms like who the top dogs are 
leading into the Olympics here. Um, overall, I completely love that Netflix continues to put out these, I don't want to call them like behind the scenes, but it's almost like an intimate view into these athletes' lives. And you get to kind of see the, not even the struggle, but the dedication. Because with a lot of these people, it, it's no longer just them waking up in the morning feeling motivated to do X, Y, and Z. I think it's past that because there's many a times where I'm sure these athletes don't want to eat super healthy, don't want to wake up, you know, early in the morning to just train all day. So seeing the way that a lot of them embody that and how they completely take those personas and, and take all of that knowledge and, and what they do with it and just seeing how for better life, just how confident these guys are. I think during one of the interviews, um, Noah Lyles was saying, you know, if you don't go into every single race thinking you can win it, you already lost. So these guys basically come into every single race knowing that they're they're going to win and that there's no other option. So it's just, it's really phenomenal seeing how this series goes and how they track every single person and just how they intertwine all these storylines and all these little dynamics where realistically you know you look at it and right now for for the you know for team usa um between noah and uh shakari like they're those two are such large personalities but they they back it up with their performances so it's almost you know like you kind of get into this weird circle of like have they always been that loud personality or has their skills surpassed to the point where they have embodied this personality, which is just really neat, you know? And I love how even those retired uh, sprinters like Usain Bolt has chimed, you know, like he'll chime in and all this. And it's basically like these people are running to to be the best and to break these records. But some of these records are like, you're talking about a hundredth of a millisecond that can determine if you win or lose, if you break a world record, an Olympic record. So it's it's phenomenal. Um, overall, though, I would say if you have some time, go bench through this thing, especially right now, right before the Olympics drop. You know, I think this is going to get such good hype, especially going towards the Olympics. This came out. It couldn't have come out at a better time at the end of the day. So overall, you know, if I had to rank this series from, you know, 1 to 10, I'd give this like a solid 8, 8.5. I mean, the the way it was shot was beautiful. The way that they do the interviews and they they make you feel like you truly know these people and you truly understand these people. And I completely love that. You know, you kind of see all the all the workouts with the coaches and just how much these coaches are putting into these, you know, these uh athletes. But Overall, you know, 8.5 out of 10. Love it. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have seen this. Um, if you haven't, stop what you're doing. Just go watch it. This is too good to not watch. But as always, this is Jorge with Team JVS, and we'll see you next time. Peace.